Hello dear friends, welcome to another episode of Science For You. Today, we will learn how to make a tachometer. A tachometer is an extremely useful instrument for measuring the rotational speed of objects like motors, fans etc. This tachometer is made using Arduino and makes use of infrared sensor to detect the object when it rotates. Thus by measuring the time between passing of the rotating object in front of the infrared sensor, the rotational speed in RPM is measured. If you like my projects, please do not forget to hit the subscribe button for watching more interesting videos in future. Thank you. Now, let us learn how to make the tachometer. For this project, you need Arduino Uno board, SSD 1306 OLED display, infrared sensor, 9 volt battery and a rocker switch. The OLED display has 128 by 64 pixel, 0.96 inch diagonal size. The model we're using here has only 4 pins. 2 pins for power and 2 pins SCL and SDF for communicating the Arduino using I2C communication protocol. First, we need to take a box for placing all the components together. I took a sweet box which is trapezoidal in shape. First glue the infrared sensor at the front as shown. Next. Cut a small slit on the cover so that we can keep the OLED display and take the wires inside through the opening. Fix the OLED display as shown. Now cut a small rectangular hole on the cover and fix the rocker switch. Remove the cover and fix the 9V battery and Arduino board inside as shown. Now make a small hole on the cover just in between the infrared sensor and the OLED display. We can now take jumper wires through this hole and connect the infrared sensor to Arduino. Connect the VCC pin of sensor to IO REF 4 plus 5 volt pin of Arduino, ground pin of sensor to ground pin of Arduino and out pin from the sensor to pin number 2 of Arduino. Now take 4 jumper wires and connect VCC pins of OLED display to plus 5V pin of Arduino, ground pin of display to ground pin of Arduino, SD a pin of display to analog pin 4 of Arduino and SCL pin of display to analog pin number 5 of Arduino. Now, we have to give the power connections. Connect the wire from the positive terminal of the battery to one terminal of the switch. Now take a piece of wire and connect to the other terminal of the switch. Connect the other end of the wire to VN pin of Arduino. Connect the wire from the negative terminal of the battery to ground pin of Arduino. The connections are complete. Now, close the cover. The tachometer is ready. Now we have to upload the code to Arduino board by connecting it to PC or laptop using a new SP cable. Open the code in IDE software and upload. Before uploading the code we have to first install libraries called GFX and SSD1306 by Adafruit. In the code. There is a variable called PPR which denotes how many pulses the object generates with one rotation. For example, a fan with three blades generated three pulses for one rotation. Make sure you enter the correct number of pulse per rotation of the object for getting accurate RPM readings. Let us now check the working of the project. The tachometer is detecting pulses when I just cross my fingers across it, and converts them to rotational speed in RPM.
the tachometer is nicely measuring the rotational speed of low and high speed motors. If you have liked the video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to watch more interesting experiment and DIY projects in future. Thank you.